I got broads in Atlanta, she's with the V in the front, pretty cards in the scams, hitting the licks in the front. We all know about the Orange Justice MO in Fortnite. It's the most popular and most famous by far, but here's why Fortnite are removing it from the game completely. If you haven't seen the famous Orange Justice dance MO in the game or in real life, the kid doing it in his bedroom, here it is. But even though you might love it by now, by the end of this video, you may grow to hate it being in Fortnite, and that's why Fortnite are probably removing it from the game completely. Anyway, here's the original clip and the Fortnite version. It's Fortnite, if this actually stays in the game, I'll probably crap my pants. Y'all ready? This is called the random. It's also a great exercise move. Great exercise move. XP. Oh! <laughs> oh my God! Orange Justice. Orange shirt kid. The orange shirt kid, guys. Let's go. Oh. My God, are you kidding me? Dude, Epic. <laughs> Epic's so awesome, bro. <laughs> That's funny as shit. Orange Kid! He made it, my boy! Oh my god. They added orange. <laughs> they added his dance. <laughs> they added it guys they added it can you believe it they added his dance anyway the original creator of this dance is someone called roy purdy this guy uses the dance in mostly all of his videos and is now even receiving hate for saying that he copied the orange shirt kids dance even though it was him that made up the dance move in the first place he wasn't credited by fortnite at all and didn't get any rewards for his original dance being in fortnite which they've profited on massively which is completely unfair anyway here's roy doing the original dance in real life Roy even did a boogie down submission and still wasn't credited by Fortnite, but the orange shirt kid was. I need to do this. So I'm gonna hit it real quick. This is my Fortnite boogie down challenge. <laughs> I 
So Roy did all of this hard work and put in so much time to so many videos and the orange shirt kid uploaded one video got into Fortnite and got all the publicity for it and has reached internet stardom and Roy gets absolutely nothing for it which is really unfair and the orange t-shirt kid keeps claiming that it's his dance because he technically did popularize it but it's not his dance and he is young so he doesn't really understand probably how that works anyway here's his reaction to it being in the game and also him saying that it's his emote okay, exercise. Uh, hello everyone it's fortnite kid here and today i'm going to be saying that i want to get so uh yeah if you want to follow that you can ask the play and stuff suck that's yeah that's why i just killed someone that had a shield This isn't the only oh, person the they've annoyed Just though. The original creator of the best mates dance emote didn't even get credit for the original dance move from Fortnite and even said that he might file a lawsuit because of the blatant plagiarism, which is exactly what Roy might do, which is why Fortnite might also remove it from the game. Fortnite pretty much looks up what's popular and without asking for permissions puts it in their game. Maybe they didn't know that the dances had creators but it's still not a really cool thing to do and they should definitely give credit to the original people who made it up. Now before I show you the most overpowered gun in the game that was removed before you probably started playing Fortnite, I want to share with you guys something called Llama Crate. Now they've given away 10,000 V-Bucks, all official on their website, for anyone who buys their Llama Crates. Now in the Llama Crates you get some Fortnite items in real life like the Chug Jug and other really nice goodies like the Mini Llama and some other really really nice stuff. So go visit their website and use code EXTRACT at checkout if you do buy anything and you could be entered into a huge 10,000 V-Buck giveaway. This emote won't even be the first thing they've removed from the game though. Fortnite have removed a ton of stuff, including one of the most overpowered guns in the game known as the Zapatron. The gun was very rare and if you got it you pretty much win the game because of how broken and overpowered it was and because of that it was quickly removed but anyway here's someone finding the gun reacting to finding it and actually getting a really nice kill with it alors on a le droit à un zapotron légendaire au machin légendaire Something even worse about Fortnite stealing Roy Purdy's emote is that they still haven't added some emotes that even the creators want them to put in the game. For example, Drake wanted them to put in a Hotline Bling emote and they would he would literally mention them in his new album, but they still haven't done this and may do it in the future, but instead of adding the Orange Justice now, they should have added the Hotline Bling definitely. Hey. Beats actually sick.
Murder, murder beats sampled Fortnite the other night. It was so funny that the intro song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you gotta. I mean, I, you gotta put some Fortnite lingo I, in the album, nah, man. Just someone, something. It, it has to happen. It's just gotta be the right way. I someone's gonna do it. Someone's gonna pull it out. Absolutely. I say when Epic gives me the emote, when Epic gives me the hotline bling emote, I'll do it. But until then, I'm I'm on I'm on My straight. Boy, yes, I love it. <laughs> I've been at, dude. I told them after our first session, even before, I was like, you guys need the I time. Know. Like, they need to make like all the like super relevant. Like they need to do the shoot dance. They need to do like the Uzi shoulders. Like they need to just do like all the dances that we could get. Man. Let me know if you think it should be. <laughs>